What's going on guys, Christian here and today I will show you how to unlock your HTC 10. So it's a very simple procedure, I'll show you how to do it step by step. In this case I'm going to be using my locked AT&T HTC phone because I want to unlock it to use it with T-Mobile. So if you're wondering, this is a permanent network factory unlock. This means that after you unlock your phone, you will be able to switch freely between carriers like AT&T, T-Mobile, Rogers, Telus or any other GSM carrier worldwide. So to unlock your phone, you will only need your computer, your phone, and the SIM card. Now, one last thing that I have to mention before we start is that unfortunately, this unlock is not free. So we will have to pay a small amount to unlock this phone. But trust me, guys, in my opinion, it's well worth it to have a fully factory unlocked phone so that you're able to use it with any carrier worldwide. But anyways, I will show you the way to unlock your phone and then you later decide if you want to do it or not. All right, so let's begin. So the first step is to get your phone's IMEI number. This is very, very simple. So just go to your dial pad and dial star hash zero six hash. So as you will see, your 15 digit IMEI number will appear. This is very, very important. This is probably the most important step of the whole unlocking procedure. Keep this number close because we will need it in a few seconds. So now go to the computer and open the internet browser and go to the website unlockriver.com. So here we will have to unlock our phone. So we just have to fill in here the information about the phone we want to unlock. So we're going to start by selecting the original carrier that your phone is currently locked to. So I bought my phone in AT&T in the United States, so I will select that one. And then you have to select the brand of your phone. So we're going to go ahead and select HTC from the drop down menu. Perfect. Now uh, you have to select the model. So we're going to select HTC 10, but this method will also work for any other HTC model. Perfect. So now you have to enter your IMEI number. So make sure it is 100% correct. Very, very important. If there's a mistake here, this method will not work. Okay, so then you have to insert here the email where you want to receive your unlock code. So make sure it is 100% correct as well, because it will send you an unlock code to your email. All right, so if you scroll down, you will see an average delivery time and the price to unlock your phone. Now, keep in mind that this price and delivery time is always changing. Uh, it usually is around 30 minutes, but sometimes it can take up to 24 hours. So be very patient. So we're going to go ahead and hit unlock now. So in the next page, you will see a summary of your current order. So just check everything here. Just make sure everything is correct. And we just want to make sure all the information we submit is 100% correct. And don't worry, there are no risks. Your warranty won't be voided. In fact, there are only positive things that you can get out of this unlock. So I will go ahead and place my order and I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, so once you have placed the order, you will get a following confirmation message. So if you did everything correctly, you will get this screen. It basically confirms that your order was placed and now all you have to do is wait. So you have to wait until you get an email with your unlock code. Now this may take between 1 to 24 hours in most cases, but usually is very fast, like sometimes it's almost instantly. But if in case it takes a little bit longer, just be very patient, don't worry, you will always receive your unlock code. Alright, so now I will show you how the email will look like. So let's go to my personal email and I will show you the email I got. So as you can see here, I just got an email from Unlock River saying that my HTC unlock code is ready. So we're going to go ahead and open it. And as you can see here, it says your HTC unlock code is ready. And down here, you can see the actual unlock code. It also includes step by step instructions on how to enter the unlock code, but I will show you how to enter it right now. This is very, very simple. So let's go ahead and switch back to the phone. So once you got your unlock code ready, go ahead and power off your device. Okay, so now simply insert your SIM card and power on your device. My phone is locked to AT&T, so I will use a T-Mobile SIM card. So after you power on your phone, it will detect that you have inserted an unsupported SIM card. And in order to use it with that SIM card, you will need to enter an unlock code to unlock this phone. So as you can see here, I just got the message SIM network unlock pin. So it's basically asking for the unlock code that I received in my email. So once you're done, simply click next and you will get a success message saying that your unlock code was accepted. So as you can see here, I get successfully unlocked from the network, rebooting. So click OK and your phone will automatically reboot. So after your phone is back on, it will be fully factory unlocked and you will be able to use it with your new SIM card. You should get a full bar with your new carrier. It is as simple as that, guys. Thank you for watching the video. I hope it helped you unlock your phone. And don't forget to subscribe. We upload videos every week. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.